Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about antioxidants. You've probably heard about these little molecules before. So what are they? Why are they so important for your health? And in which foods can you get them? So first of all, what are antioxidants? They are molecules that help defend your cells against the damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are natural byproducts of your metabolism and actually perform a certain number of important functions. However, they can also form if you are exposed to cigarette smoke, alcohol, UV rays, or pollution and if they accumulate they can cause oxidative stress if you're interested in my sources don't forget to check out my blog post on the subject that i will be putting in the description box so what are the health benefits of antioxidants antioxidants are essential to your survival they are capable of neutralizing these free radicals and help prevent cell damage they either stabilize the free radical by providing it with its missing electron or they just break it down altogether. This stops the chain reaction of free radical formation and helps prevent cell damage. Your body produces some antioxidants, but you can also find them in a lot of foods. In general, plant-based foods are higher in antioxidants than animal-based foods. Here are some of the different types of antioxidants that you can find in foods. You can find vitamin C in many different fruit and vegetables, especially oranges, kiwis, cantaloupe, grapefruit, strawberries, broccoli, bell pepper. You can find vitamin E in nuts and seeds such as almonds, sunflower seeds, hazelnuts, peanut butter. You can find carotenoids such as beta carotene and lycopene in peaches, pink grapefruit, apricots, mangoes, watermelon, tomatoes, carrots, bell peppers, asparagus, squash, spinach, pumpkin, sweet potatoes. You can find lutein in leafy green vegetables such as collard greens, spinach, and kale. You can find selenium in nuts, shellfish, fish, poultry, tofu, whole wheat foods. And you can find polyphenols in berries, wine, grapes, tea, chocolate, asparagus, onions, red leaf lettuce, apples. So to give you a general idea about the antioxidant content in different foods, I'm going to give you some antioxidant rich foods and tell you how much antioxidants they have. And this is given in millimoles per 100 grams of the food. So dark chocolate with cacao contents between 70 and 99 percent has a antioxidant number of about 10.9 and the less cacao in the chocolate the more that number decreases so coffee beans before being turned into coffee have a super high antioxidant rate around 20. it drops down to 2.5 when it is turned into coffee but that's still a pretty good amount and espressos are better as they have an antioxidant content of around 14. Berries contain one of the highest amounts of antioxidants among the commonly consumed fruits. For example, blueberries contain a mean antioxidant content of 9.2, strawberries of 5.4, goji berries of 4.3 and raspberries of 4. Pomegranates have an antioxidant content of around 5 and concerning nuts, pecans around 9 and walnuts around 15 are nuts which are rich in antioxidants. Artichokes have an antioxidant content of around 4.7 and this number can actually increase if the artichoke is steamed or boiled. Kale has an antioxidant content of around two or three, and it also has many other good health benefits that you can check out in the video I made about that right here or in the description. Red cabbage has an antioxidant content of around 2.2, and this can be actually reduced if you steam it and it can actually go up if you boil it. And finally, herbs and spices also contain a lot of antioxidants, but I didn't find it really fitting to give the quantities for 100 grams because that's not really a quantity of herb that you're going to put in your meal. But feel free to look up the doses. I put a link again in my blog for that in my blog article. 
Also, it's very, very important to keep in mind that the this antioxidant content varies depending on the type of food, where it came from, how you cook it, and you know other different factors. This is just to give you a general idea. So now, how many antioxidants should you be getting daily? Well, it's actually very hard to come up with a set number. According to Dr. Michael Greger, for an energy consumption of around 2,000 calories, you need to be getting in around 9 millimoles of antiox antioxidants daily. So that number goes up to 13.5 if you consume around 3,000 calories and goes down to 6.5 if you consume 1,500 calories. This is because digesting our food causes oxidation and we need antioxidants to counter that. Again, the best way to get these antioxidants is by eating a variety of foods like the ones I just mentioned. But if you really still feel like you're not getting enough, you can talk to your doctor about supplementing. And this brings us to our next point. Can you have too many antioxidants? And the answer is yes, absolutely. And although this is very hard to do with food, I mean, it's hard to over consume antioxidants with food, it can happen really easily if you supplement. Too many antioxidants can actually be detrimental to your health. This is the antioxidant paradox. Again, the link is in my blog post if you're interested in learning more about that. Overly high doses of antioxidants do not prevent cancer and can actually increase overall mortality. Like many things, actually, antioxidants are amazing for your health but should not be consumed excessively. This is why you really need to make sure that you actually need more antioxidants before you go ahead and supplement. Again, supplementation can be really good if you really need it, it can be helpful, it can help you be healthier and get in all the nutrients that you need, but you should really make sure that you need it and have some tests done and talk about it with the doctor. So to sum up, antioxidants are crucial to help protect your cells against free radicals, and you can find them in different foods. It's important to eat a variety of fruit and vegetables daily in order to get in all of the antioxidants you need and also all of the good nutrients and energy content that you need. So this is essential to a healthy diet. However, if you get too many antioxidants from high dose supplements, this can actually be harmful. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.